the fourth year of the Mile of Music Festival in Appleton, an exciting weekend bringing thousands of music lovers to Northeast Wisconsin. NBC26's Billy Wagnus was a part of the music today and joins us now with a look at how growth is shaping the event's future. Holly, with 75 live music performances in downtown Appleton today alone, the final day of this Mile of Music Festival this year, well, it still feels like a festival in full swing, but organizers, they're already looking to the future in growing and shaping the celebrated event. Here in the Lawrence Memorial Chapel, where 1,100 people could sit comfortably, the connection between musicians and the audience is still intimate. Inspirational stuff. It's the same feeling that brings fans like Alex Jacklin of Appleton back every year. It's just something special, being able to come back here every year. Uh, you know, the people are great, the music is fantastic, and love everything about it. And that music bringing people together, that's really what Mile of Music is all about. Mile of Music director Dave Willems says now in its fourth year the festival is only growing, quadrupling the number of performances during its four days since 2013. Our hope is to have people be able to access original music and really be able to have a chance to, to interact with it as well. Willem says that's meant more venues added to the list each year. When we did the first year we were at 40, so we've, we've almost doubled that. It's also meant creating a year-round planning process as the free festival's popularity only grows. It's on people's calendars, it's on their radar, certainly for music fans. And while venues this year are reporting maxed out capacities at times, Willems says the future isn't about growth as much as it is fine tuning. We're really going to be focusing on better and more and more music in those venues where people are coming to really enjoy and listen to the music. That's going to be our real focus. Just keep up the good work, guys. We love it. Fine tuning that includes promoting Appleton as a year round music destination. And of course, nothing is set in stone for 2017 yet, but Willems says options like adding another day or even weekend to Mile of Music are part of that ongoing discussion. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagnus, NBC26.